They'll be saying, oh, Lord, here they come. Yeah, here we come. Huh, here we come. <laughs> here we come. Here we come. Hey yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Sasquatch, and we are back with some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile. Hope y'all are having an amazing day. So today we're going to be talking about the new Geopolymer Foundation and probably the lasso. I completely forgot you can make a lasso now, and I was told how to do it, so I also want to try that out um, today on the video. But first of all, I finished my little base over here on the side of the iceberg. As you can tell, I got a couple turret towers up, nothing major. I will probably end up putting more, maybe put some underneath if I can, or put another, um, oh, what do you call it? Another one of these platforms down. But the only bad thing about this is, I hit the height limit already. I can't make my turret towers any higher. It's just, that's it. So I really wish they would increase the height limit of this on the turret, or for the, um, for the um, cantilever platform. That way you could build at the very top of a mountain and not have to worry about height limit. I kind of think it's weird. Or maybe mine just glitched for some reason. Maybe this isn't the height limit. I don't know. I will have to, uh, I'll have to do some experiments and figure it out. But anyway, guys, oh, my microphone is a little bit far away from me. Hopefully those clips aren't super, super quiet. But anyway, let's go to the volcano base. Um, I'm going to go ahead and teleport there. Uh, teleport. And I have a, oh, what do you call it? The, um, oh, the cook, you know, the, the powered cooking station. I, I don't know what it's called. We'll see what it's called when we get down there. But I'm going to go up here first because we need to get a whole bunch of amber. It kind of sucks, but each one of the, the cement needed to build a foundation is five potent dust. And then it takes 10 cement to make a fa one foundation. So we're going to end up needing... 50 um, potent dust just to make one foundation. So let's go ahead. I have two cement in here already. Um, oh, by the way, did I? Did you see my Santa hat in the spirit of Christmas? Only five amber. Y'all go pick you up one. They're pretty nice. But where did I put? There it is. Okay. So we need to get, um, what I say? It's 50. So we need to get 50 potent dust. Come on. I don't want to go over. Okay, there's 50 potent dust, and then I should already have some cement. Okay, there it is, cement right there. And let's go ahead and fly. Oh, I forgot to get, we need polymer, and you can't just use regular polymer, uh, like what's in the admin console right here, that polymer at the very bottom. Um, this one, you have to use the polymer you get from penguins. So let me cut out, let me fly back to where we just were, go get some polymer, and then we will swing back by and uh, I will show you what else it takes to craft the cement, which then take what you use to craft the geopolymer foundations. So we'll be back in a few seconds. By the way, I know most of you guys know in order to get polymer, you kill the penguins and then you beat them with the club and that gives you the most polymer. So we're going to go ahead and be cheatsies here for the, uh, for the time limit I always have while recording. You kill it and then you beat it with the club. And this is what gives you the most organic polymer. Like, my server is boosted, so I get a lot more than normal servers. But this right here is the easiest, best way. Some people will use, like, a hatchet and pickaxe. That's not the most efficient way to get polymer. This is, I can't remember where I saw that at. I think I was watching a YouTuber I watched that was playing Ark. And uh, he ended up using a club. And because someone he was playing with told him that. But this is, like, one of the best spots for penguins where my base is right up there. There's so many of the... Uh, Karaku, how you pronounce it. I just call them penguins because, I mean, let's face it, they're penguins. Well, let's go ahead and beat the crap out of them. I'm going to get a whole bunch. I shouldn't need, I shouldn't need a ton. I can't I think it only takes like one or so per, I can't remember. But anyway, let me beat these guys up and uh, we'll be back once I'm back at the little cooking station thing for us to craft this cement. All right, after killing a million things where I have my industrial cooker, which is what it's called, by the way, I'm finally ready to put everything in there that we need. And I kind of forgot I already had everything in there. I just really figured there wouldn't be any organic polymer left. But there is plenty of organic polymer left in here if it'll let me in. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so you can see you need stone, chitin, 
organic polymer, obsidian, um, at least I think so, because this is everything I put in there. And then we'll go ahead and turn it off, and I'll put in my uh, ancient, or the, my potent dust, which is technically, you know, ancient amber grounded up. And then we turn on, and it's not cooking. Okay, we must be missing something. Because I could have sworn this is what all, which is what everything, or what it took in order to cook. Um, did it need any fiber? Maybe I'm missing, yeah, I think there was something else. It might have been fiber. Maybe let's let's uh let's get some fiber real quick and try fiber. Um, I don't remember exactly. Okay, put fiber in there. We gotta drop something. Uh, we got plenty of organic polymer. We'll go ahead and drop ten. Well, I guess I could have just taken it. Okay, that did not do it. Um, maybe I need more obsidian or stone. That might be it. Maybe I'm just low on stone and obsidian. So let's get a whole bunch of stone, a whole bunch of obsidian. Because maybe it takes a lot. I don't remember. Stone. There we go. Okay, now it's cooking. So I did not have enough stone. Let's see how many it takes per. So it takes... Come on, two, one. Oh, wow. That takes that takes a good amount of stone. So there's another one. And as you see, it takes five potent dust. It does not take any uh, fiber. So we're going to take that out of there. And how much organic polymer did that take? Maybe it didn't take any. Let's see if any of my organic polymer goes down. Um, one. Okay, I think organic polymer did go down. Okay, it's still cooking. Oh, did that make two? I think it was, oh, one must have already cooked while we weren't paying attention. Let's see, yeah, another one's done. Okay, we need to put more stone in there now. Let's get a whole bunch more stone. Is it using any obsidian? That is the question. 680 obsidian. Let's see if obsidian goes down. We have 680. And does it go down is the question. 680, 660. Okay, so it doesn't need much obsidian. It's pretty much just potent dust and stone that takes the most. It doesn't look like it takes any chitin. So stone, organic polymer, obsidian, and potent dust is what it looks like it is taking. Because I don't see the chitin going down. Let's drop the chitin out and make sure. Okay. It, yeah, it does not take any chitin. So 100% stone, organic polymer, obsidian potent dust is the way to go so now we have nine we need one more um which actually i'm gonna make more um because i forgot i already had two so we might as well go ahead and make two more might as well have them sitting around but guys this only makes one foundation which is insane to me i really wish it made more i don't understand why it doesn't but i hope they change that in the future by the way now that i'm putting this in a video someone's probably going to come over here and steal all my stuff out of this Cause there's a lot of organic polymer in here, but no biggie. Um, I'll probably end up going ahead and destroying it so no one gets the material out of here. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and destroy it so no one gets the material. Uh, kill target. Okay, cool. Now, let's fly to my base. I will meet y'all back up at the, I think it's the workbench, and we will craft us a foundation, and we can see how high we can go. So see y'all in a second. All right, my peeps, my squad. We are back at my volcano base, which doesn't have much left after whoever it was decided to come here and raid me, even though we have it. No raid admins. But however, I did get my Equus back. I thought they killed it, but I, I, I just remembered I didn't see it in tribe logs. An awesome, awesome person on my server found it for me and said, hey, it's down the volcano. It's down the little you know road that goes up to the volcano. So we found it. He is back. We got to still name him, which there's several names in the comments. I'll go check, and I will name him at the end of this episode for you guys. Anyway, let's get in here. As you can see, Geopolymer Foundation. It needs 40 wood, 5 thatch, and then 10 Geopolymer cement. So we'll go ahead and put 10 of or well, we put 12 of them in there. And craft a single dang foundation. I mean, it's just insane to me that that just crafts one. Oh man, it almost takes a full minute to craft. That's insane. I don't like, could you, I mean, I understand you can build super, super high with it and everything, but that's just super, super expensive. I just don't understand that. Okay, well, let me cut out for the 20 seconds because I don't feel like talking for 20 seconds. Here it is in all of its glory. The Geopolymer Foundation. Supports buildings of 26 meters in height. So let's take this bad boy. 30 walls should be enough to see how high we can go. Let's go outside. 
Uh, the only thing is, I really don't want to waste this guy. I kind of want to put him down. I mean, honestly, I can't really get any use out of anyway, so I guess forget it. Let's go. Let's just go back here, see if we can place it anywhere, and maybe at least build like a turret tower or something out of it. So we'll place it down right here. Let's get a good look at it, see what it looks like. So just looks like a little like concrete foundation. I like the look of it, though. If they were cheaper, I would so build a whole base out of them, but at last, they're not. Let me go ahead and drop these clubs out of my inventory. They're so easy to make. I hate carrying them on me. Drop, drop, get off, get off, get off, get off. All right, oh, let me put the walls in my quick slots. All right. Now let's go ahead and start stacking. Let's we'll see how we'll see how many walls we can get. Um, three, four, five. Okay, we got one, two, we got five so far. So let's go ahead and turn fly on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen walls high. Oh my gosh, that is high. Fourteen walls. Wait, so how many can a metal one do? Let's compare it to metal. Let's go inside and grab a metal foundation. And let's see what that compares to. Doors obstructed? No, it is not. Let me in my dang face already. All right, I should have a metal foundation in here somewhere, I believe. Let's go ahead and go to structures, metal, metal foundation, craft. So I'm curious because I think in Ark's video, it looks like it's only one or two higher. Um, but I, I'm really curious. I want to see if, if this one's only 14. We definitely have enough walls. And me being on top of Volcano, I don't know if that affects it. I really don't know. I don't know since we're already higher if that has anything to do with it. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And we got a fly. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten. So this one goes a whole, what was it? Fourteen? A whole four higher. Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So this one goes a whole four walls higher which if you're building a really tall base or like turret towers and you're out of room for how high you're building i guess just one of those foundations where you're building your turrets can make all the difference so you're not going to be building a huge massive base out of these but at the same time that could really be helpful in some certain situations i suppose um also last thing real quick guys and i'm going to end the video off we need to make the lasso Someone said you did it in the Equus saddle, or in the Equus. I'm not sure if that's true. Oh, yeah, it says, uh, it says saddle can craft craft useful chemical supplies on the go. So we need to craft the saddle. I believe the saddle is in here. Let's find out real quick. Saddles, Equus. Let's craft that. And that kind of did No, it doesn't take too, too long to make. Come on. Hurry up, hurry up. Man, I'm kind of sad that I wasted that foundation on nothing. I mean, but hey, I wanted to make the video. I knew it was going to take quite a bit of amber to do so. But hey, what are you going to do about it? Okay, equip. Now to go back over here. So we got cementing paste, gunpowder, spark powder, and here we go. We need thatch and fiber. Ooh, that is cheap thatch. Fiber. Oh, did I get the fiber? And let's craft that there. Put that there. And let's go ahead and make a couple of them. I don't know how the durability of them is going to be. Um, now let's put them in our quick slot. And let's see how this looks. Come on. Is it not letting me? So I have to put it in my in my third slot. My offhand. No, it's not letting me put it in offhand. Let's see. An easily crafted range tool that can ensure a... And snare and pull a target can only be wielded when riding a certain creature. So you have to wield it when riding one of these guys. Okay, let's get on him. Oh. I wonder what creatures you can get with it. Holy crap, this is awesome. I wonder what creatures you can get with this thing. And you just click it and it throws whichever direction you're looking and pulls back. This might make it really easy to tame other horses. I, I'm sure you can ensnare other horses, I would imagine. Ooh, I wonder what happens if you get off your horse. Like, uh, well, we can't test it out right now. But I wonder if it stays um, connected to your horse if you hop off. 
So that is awesome. We're going to throw these back inside of him because I don't want to lose them. Let's go ahead and take that off. I don't care about the walls. Drop the walls. And throw you in there. Dude, I'm going to make a whole bunch of those and give them to people. Anyway, guys, that is all I wanted to make this video on. Hope this helps you be able to craft geopolymer foundations or at least give you an idea of what it takes, even though it's ridiculously expensive, and the lasso. So as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, smash the like button, turn the bell notification on, and as always, guys, take it one day at a time. Peace out. Tell me that you love me